Hey everybody, this is Pastor Lester and this is FaceTime. Now on these FaceTime posts, you often hear me talk about identity. That's because, ladies and gentlemen, I believe that the area in which the church is suffering the most is in the area of identity, being defined. We struggle as believers to live what we say we believe because we struggle to believe who God says we are. Paul says in Romans chapter 8, verse 15, that God has not given us a spirit that causes us to be slaves again to fear, but a spirit of sonship. You see, ladies and gentlemen, in life as believers, we're going to respond out of one of two areas, either out of fear or out of faith. Again, out of fear or out of faith. And it's easier for us, ladies and gentlemen, to respond out of fear. Why? Because with fear, there's a tangible representation. You can see fear. You can hear fear. And more importantly, you can feel fear. It's harder for us to respond out of faith. And that's because, ladies and gentlemen, we're responding to an unseen God. A God who's asking us to step out, to believe Him, to trust Him, to walk on what we're not meant to walk on, to walk on the water. And it becomes more difficult for us to do this, and that causes us to develop a fear of faith. A fear of faith. And ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you this, that if we are fearing to respond to God in faith, we will do one thing. We will expose the multiple shades of gray that exist in our hearts, the same shades of gray that exist in Christianity today. You see, God wants you to step out in faith because he wants to prove to you who he says you are as a spiritual son and as a spiritual daughter. So let me encourage you today, ladies and gentlemen, to do faith. Just do faith. What do you have to lose except God revealed on the other side. God bless you. I love you and do faith today.